little ribbon snake with a little cricket frog who does not even seem to mind that it is being swallowed alive. This is given up. I had something to rest this on. Come on, snake. I want to put my elbows in the gravel for much longer here. Oof. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The frog's just kind of looking around. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's grabbing that pine needle. The frog is trying to pull itself out of that pine needle. That's not sufficient. It's <laughs> too flimsy. And there it goes. You choose eternal struggle. It's the least dramatic drama in the animal kingdom. Mosquitoes biting me. My elbows are hurting. I'm going to try to set up something to do this one. Well, frogs claim that pine needle for doing life. I think the snake's about to finish this up. Yeah, I lost view of it. There it is. Well, this is way sadder than I expected it to be. seemed a lot more sad if the snake wasn't so cute also. It's so adorable. Where is the snake's stomach? Is that it? Is it? Oh, I guess not. Wow, look at it go. That's even almost more interesting. I guess we'll leave it there. I guess that must be where the stomach is. I bet it's lower than that. What is in all that snake space? Is it just like 
Do their intestines not coil? Mm -hmm. This just looks straight. It's really long, they, mm -hmm. and they're all thorax. I think I read somewhere that some particular gene, like the Hox gene or something like that, has particular modification for the snakes. And also long torso animals like the limbless amphibians and things. And lizards too. Are you still taping the snake? Yeah. I heard a bird voiced tree frog. I didn't. Play the video back. Oh, there, it's moving down the gullet again. Oh, he's smacking his... Yum, a delicious cricket frog. <laughs>